What's good, Cyberspace? It's your boy Reclaiming Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. If she don't fuck, then she not for me. Shit. If she don't suck, then she not for me. Shit. Scratch your bitches off just like the lottery. She made a mistake, grammatical apostrophe. apostrophe. Yeah. If she don't fuck, then she not for me. Shit. If she don't suck, then she not for me. Let me come fuck with the Monopoly. He seek the hoe, ain't nobody hot as me. Yeah. If she don't fuck, then she not for me. Shit. If she don't suck, then she not for me. Shit. Scratch your bitches off just like the lottery. So guys, today we have a very special topic and it's an important topic because it is going to bring perspective to a lot of these modern women. See, nowadays women are basically being called bad bees, okay? They're being called bad, they're being called fine, they're they're being called eight, nines, and tens by their peers um, and other women and they're they're being led astray man like you can't just say that a woman who's a three is a 10. um you can't just say a woman who's a four is a 10. and i mean objectively speaking a lot of times when these women are rating themselves they are overvaluing their physical appearance now this is not to say that they are a bad person or whatnot but most of them are overvaluing their physical appearance and the realities are hitting them straight in the face so what we're gonna do is break down a video of an overweight sister who is crying about her friends getting more attention than her because they look better so let's watch ladies can we start a thread because i want to talk about something that i haven't heard and i just want to know if anyone else any women are experiencing this quick backstory coming up I always had low self-esteem. I never felt attractive. I didn't really have friends. I was okay, so let me make a point. When it comes to this woman, she said growing up, she always had low self-esteem. And I get it. When we're teens, when we're adolescents, you tend to um, compare yourself to your peers. My thing is, if you had low, low self-esteem, ma'am, why all this time you have not been working on yourself, okay? You're overweight. You have six different chins. OK, um, another thing that is going to diminish her beauty tattoos. Nobody likes tattoos on a fat woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, another thing, the septum piercing. Men don't find that attractive unless he's some punk rock star. You know what I'm saying? Too many nose piercings, the tattoos you're doing too much. Slow down, ma'am. None of these things are going to make you more attractive. What's going to make you more attractive is losing weight. Now, overall, in my personal opinion, I would not say that she's an ugly woman, okay? She's average in the face, but because she's 200 pounds overweight, it makes her look unattractive, okay? Like, that's the difference between me looking like this and me looking like this with my jawline chiseled and, you know, sharp. There's a difference. So... What I would say, first thing, ma'am, go lose weight. Don't don't get no more tattoos. Don't pierce any of your skin and let's it's your ears, okay? Stop right now and and, and lose the weight. Lose the weight. Second off, um, I know you want to rock the natural hair, but dreads ain't it, okay? Dreads, and I know it's a lot of women rocking dreads, and I've seen some beautiful women walking dreads, no, rocking dreads, no doubt. But dreads are very one dimensional, especially when it comes to a woman's looks. So I wouldn't tell you to do the big chop at this point, but the dreads ain't it. Um, you're going to come off looking more masculine than you are feminine, especially with them fat ass dreads. Like if it was like thin dreads like mine, then maybe you could make them work. But um, your dreads are like the 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 um, the Zoe dreads. It's like them. They damn near free form dreads like nobody nobody is trying to be smashing on kodak black okay nobody is trying to be smashing on a, a chick who looked like hot boy so get rid of the dreads ma'am and i know you might have to do the big chop to do that but just grow your hair naturally and and, and don't i mean dreads are natural for sure but don't lock them up please because that that makes you very one-dimensional i mean them dreads so fat you can't even braid them back so um let's keep going 
pretty much a loner. And so as an adult, I still have some of those thoughts in my mind. And it could honestly... And the men are the ones who are insecure. Don't you hear these women talking about, oh, well, men are insecure because of this. Men are insecure because of that. Um, the only people I see crying online about their appearance are women. Affect how I present myself when I'm out. But with that said. But you could tell she got some big old boobs. Like, I'm telling you, she's 200 pounds away from being a six, an adjustable six. So, ma'am, lose the weight and you'll be fine. I guarantee. She might even be able to. Um, get lipo, take that lipo, throw it in her ass and, and get a breast reduction and make it fit her body so she don't have flapjack titties when she loses the weight. But she's not ugly in the face. She's a big girl. She needs to lose the weight. But I can tell she has very clear skin. Um, she doesn't have chest tattoos. So that's good. Uh, so ma'am, just lose the weight. Come get on the Reclaim Your Throne D1 Elite Fitness course. And I'm telling you right now, you will you will become a bad b and i have a lot of gorgeous friends okay everybody's pretty everybody's pretty can we talk about how we are not the woman that's like ever approached <laughs> in the friend group more specific so she's the ugly duckling in the friend group um and I'm, i wouldn't be surprised a lot of these um beautiful gorgeous women that she's talking about they hang with fat chicks like you to make themselves look better it's not that they're really your friends it's not that they're really going to give you advice good advice i guarantee they're telling you oh girl you look so good don't worry about these men they're stupid if they don't want you then then you should just you know value yourself and all this goofy stuff and work on yourself, girl. These men are dumb. You don't want them anyway. Meanwhile, they're getting their back blown out every night that they go out and you sitting up there going back home, you know, eating ice cream and ho-hos. So the thing is, <laughs> ma'am, lose the weight and I guarantee you'll get different results. Lose your friends because if they're telling you that you're good just the way you are, then they're lying to you in order to be more competitive than you how you internalize it how you deal with it you know because it's hard for me to look at her teeth she's got great teeth she's got everything going for her except for her weight and this is where other women hold you back how how long in your life have women told you you're fine just the way you are a man should accept you just the way you are that's bs he should not accept you for the way you are because you wouldn't accept him for the way he is okay they're not accepting guys who are five three they're not accept they're not even accepting fat guys. I guarantee fat guys have tried to press up on her and she denies them. Why? Because she wants a skinny a she she wants a skinny nigga bust down. Okay? So we're not finna act like she is, you know, worth getting that type of man until she loses the weight. Believe that I'm the pretty girl when I'm out and men don't approach me. <laughs> I guarantee fat men approach her but she doesn't want them i guarantee i tell you guys the men that she don't want don't approach her that's all the time that like i get the most attention from guys on the internet of course because she's over here posing butt naked on the internet for validation of course not out in public not, i i for the most part i'm never approached just to keep it a buck or i'm approached by super older guys like super older guys well What's wrong with the older guys? If they're if they're down for that look, 50 and up. Nobody in my age range. And I don't care how many times my friends tell me I'm pretty. And that's the problem. Her friends are lying to her. And these these are the types of friends that you don't want to have around. See these women they, these women are so hard on the bar, body positivity that they can't be objective about conventional attractiveness. Ma'am, like I said, she's she's like a fat girl. She doesn't have an ugly face, but you got to lose the weight, ma'am. You got to. People at church tell me I'm pretty. Oh, God. People at church. <laughs> People at church. Those are the biggest liars, too. When it's all said and done and I'm in a room with them, I'm never seen. Nope. And it's kind of hard to do. And then you can't even really talk to your homegirls about it because if you tell them, then they're going to be self-conscious about how they are in your... No, no, that's not, that's not even what it is. They just don't want to tell you the truth. That's why they act in funny. Your presence and you don't want to dim their light because you love them. 
But like, what do I have to do? Distance myself from pretty people? Like, that. Yeah. Um, if you want to get chose up out of the friend group, you're going to have to get a group of friends who look just as bad or worse than you. That, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> How do y'all deal with it? Do you talk to your homegirls? Do you just internalize it? Do you talk to other people? Do you just ignore the feelings? Like, because that's my thing. When I'm by myself and I meditate or I look at myself in the mirror, I feel beautiful. That's the problem. You have no standard, no real standard of beauty. Fat is not beautiful and it never will be. Get in shape, lose the weight. Stop being a lazy fuck and lose the damn weight. And then I get around other pretty girls and I feel like the ugly duckling. Yep. And nobody can convince me that I'm attractive. That's why it's hard for me to receive compliments. That's why it's hard uh -oh. for me to trust that what people Here come the waterworks. are saying they mean because my life experience tells me otherwise. Otherwise. So how do you deal with it if you are dealing with it? Ladies, can we start a th Lord have mercy. Okay, let's let's get in the comments. These women are still doing the same thing that she was telling them not to do. Sis, you've got to believe you're the baddest and most beautiful woman in the room. See, oh my God. As a man, I would never say, oh, I'm the most attractive, unless I really am the most attractive man in the room. Dude, are you kidding me? You got to own it. If you want others to see it, when your heart is pure and you move with love and light, people will be attracted to you. It's only then the right men will approach you like a moth to a flame. And this is a, a woman who is in shape telling her this. Another woman says, the Bible says, so a man uh, thinketh, so he is he, meaning what you think of yourself is what will manifest. Um, they said, a man thinketh, <laughs> not a woman. Fix the low self-esteem and I guarantee the room will shift accordingly. You're beautiful, but you have to know it. Um, Ma'am, no, she's not beautiful. She's fat. This is why women enable um, degeneracy, okay? Because women can never be objective and they will not, they will not um, tell the truth because they don't want to hurt this girl's feelings. Ma'am, do not listen to these women in the comment section. Um, the Bible also condemns gluttony, okay? So stop eating the ice cream. Start getting on a diet plan. Start working out. She has potential. Like I said, but right now it's OV. Another woman says she's she's beautiful and it definitely can. <clears throat> Being approached is just that. Being valued, respected, loved is where it's at. And for the nasty comments, please, some of y'all are constantly approached because men can spot low hanging fruit. I love her transparency, sis. Got that energy that is not for everybody and that's okay. Wow. Uh, Rich... Richie Blue says women do this to men all the time. Exactly. They, I mean, come on. They tell guys they're ugly. He's too short. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it is what it is. We don't, we don't care. We got to learn to replace this phone screen with a licensed professional on oh, God. Um, another woman says, it's okay, sis. I'm not the friend approached in my group either. And I just charged it to the game because I'm not for everyone. Wow. This is coping at its finest. But she's really pretty and she's not approached because she isn't owning her beauty. Confidence and self-love is key. No, you could be the most insecure woman. If you're a bad chick, you're going to get approached. You think these Instagram models are secure in themselves? No, that's why they're going overseas to get mutilated by a doctor who doesn't even have a license. You, If you think that's security, then you're out of your freaking mind. But guess what? They're getting approached online and in person all the time. Uh, one more comment. She's really pretty though. I'm looking at her rocking her natural hair sports bra and no makeup and no filter and she's beautiful But sometimes when it's a group of girls men are intimidated to approach you. Wow Men are not oh my god <sighs> And the one they do approach is the one that probably looks the friendliest and what appeals to them if you are looking to meet um, uh, women who are in shape with nice bodies appeal to men Going out in a large group is probably not the best idea. Small groups and look approachable. Now, I do agree with that. Um, she definitely needs to just go out with like one other girl who's probably the same size as her to get better results. But you see in the comment section, women are enabling this bad behavior. 
and it's only going to get worse for this chick. Now let's go to her Instagram and see what type of picture she posts. Oh yeah. Okay. So it does look like she is in the gym, but she's really fat. She's really fat. Yeah, she's really fat. Like things like this. Look at the fupa. That's absolutely disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. And I'm not trying to bag on her, but this is how I talk to my clients. I say, yo, that that that, that fupa is disgusting. We got to work on it. People aren't attracted to that. If, if your goal is to become attractive. Now, it looks like she is working on it, but I ain't even going to lie. At this point, she might need to. She might need to go under the knife, not overseas, but in the US, okay? Look, oh, she getting cash apps. Go be great. You you do everything with grace. She getting cashed app. How many men are getting cashed app? There you go, here you see it. Flapjack titties. Flapjack titties, guys. No ma'am, no ma'am, you gotta lose the weight. Anyways, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See your relationship questions to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your mark for getting with the BS. And you already know. Reclaim Your Throne. He sees the hole. Ain't nobody hot as me. Ain't nobody hot as me. I'm the type to fit that cylinder in her recycling. Shit. She probably fucking, but it's not for free. What's the cash app? Bitch, you'll have a nigga pay your fee. Yeah, I can see just how you whine me. Pouring out of me is this massage. Your throne.